How you doing folks? Lost in Outdoors. And today I have a fun little shooting video. Okay, this year in my garden, our um, squash were doing awesome this year. We had a whole bunch of squash um, produced in the garden. I mean, we had a whole bunch of squash. The garden has been keeping us busy and working us to death. So we kind of gotten a little lazy. So um, the squash that's um, coming forth now is you know the um, worms are eating it up so you know we got we um, harvested some and they were eating up with worms so you know I kinda thought what would, be, what would be the best way to get rid of these and really to be the best way is to compost them out but I decided to let my um, Beeman RS2 dual caliber 22 caliber um, pellet gun take care of them so I got my range set up down here and that's what we'll do today have a little shooting video I got my range set up down there I got a camera set up down there so without further ado let's get it underway um, kinda um, excited to see what these um, 22 caliber um, pellets my uh, Crossman Premier hollow points 22 caliber so let's get started. That big one down there is a zucchini. I have some, also have some, um, some tomatoes on top up there. Went straight through the zucchini. I also have another camera set up down there. Huh. See if I can hit that that tomato on top. Got it. <clears throat> this is my favorite air rifle right here. Ooh. Down with the um I think that was a um a cucumber. These hollow points are seeming like they're just going straight through. You aim at that um that hard target. Just put a dent in that um frying pan. Crooked neck squat. I guess I should have expected that it would just go straight through. And that's what it's doing. Uh, I guess I should tell you what I'm aiming at. Let me try that. Squash on top, right beside the tomatoes. That high. I adjusted the trigger on this on this um, air rifle. Got it that time, and it's pretty light. I mean, it's almost a, a hair trigger. Let's try to get that tomato. Ooh, nice shot. I think that ricocheted off the wood a little bit. That might be the best thing to do. Nice. Ricocheting it off the wood. Got high on that one. I can shoot this this beaming RS2 all day. Nice. I love this rifle. Ah. This mist off of the wood make that ricochet. Hair trigger. You try to get this one in the corner. Far left. See if I can cut it down.
this air rifle is pretty loud for a 22 caliber pellet gun. Shot it down. Let's see if I can knock some more down. Let's try that middle one. Oh, I miss. Aiming at the skinny part. Stance doesn't help me at all. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he failed. Far right. Just missed it. Ah, just missed it. Trying to shoot him down now. Ah, tipped it. A big gaping hole in the side. See if I can shoot it down. Yeah. Let's go back to the far left. Hit it dead center right there on the cricket neck. Cricket neck squash. Hit it again. I hit it that time. A lot of power coming from the code. That's that hair trigger. Squeezed it. Wasn't even ready to shoot. Go to the second one. Ah. Might get a chance to do a little rabbit hunting with this um, pellet gun. I saw some rabbits out. Try to shoot that fly. <laughs> There's a fly on the cricket neck squash. I tried to shoot him. Let's try the zucchini. Right at the top. Got the top off. Ah, oh, shot to the left. The stance is killing me. This is still the factory scope on this rifle. Haven't changed it. Shot right over it. I can still do this. All day. Okay, it's coming down. It wants to fall. Get another shot in that top. There we go. Fail. I know the deers are going to love this tonight. Oh. Take it down. 22 caliber. Just missed it to the right. Oh, that was a 
get or not. Come on, finish strong. Put so much shock in and make him fall. Oh, I thought that was it. This rifle has well over, oh man, well over, say about 5,000. It has to be about, about at least, got it. Oh, now I gotta hit the little piece that's hanging there. Okay, we're gonna be here all year if I don't <laughs> get this. But it has to have at least, probably about at least 4,000 pellets through it. Got it. First shot. My brother and I will just shoot all day. We'll sit and shoot for hours. All right, Cricket. It's time for you to go down. Don't make me go get my nine, my um. There we go. Almost made me get my Keltec Sub 2000. That would have brought it out. Okay, this last little piece is staring me in the face. Oh, hit it on the move. Pull out my sniper skills. See. Ooh, uh, Marine Corps. Oh, I hit it again. It's coming down. It has to come down. It has to come down. Oh, the light trigger. Ah. I'm like Hickok 45 now. I just gotta shoot like 25 times and see can I get it. But now this is staying still, I can't get it. Move, move. Come on. He's laughing at me. Got it on the move. We are the champions. We are the champions. I love this gun. Let me send one down, one or two more down at the frying pan just to show you its power. That's two right beside each other. Get a little little uh, three shot group. A little horizontal string stringing there. Let's see. Uh, hair trigger. Squeezed it too fast. Look at this 22 caliber rocking this little frying pan. I can do this all day, all day, till I pierce through it. This is a good workout too, people. Right there. Okay. Most Wanted. What's that movie, Wanted? Let me try to shoot one of the strings down. I believe I can do that. Because I'm so awesome. It's like not that awesome, but let's see. Okay, I, re I will be here all year doing this. So, <laughs> Lost and Outdoors, I'm out.
okay, I already knew some of you guys would be like, would ask the question, what, what was the, um, what does it look like close up the entrance and exit, um, of the uh, pellets on these vegetables look like, you know, because I'm interested in that also, you know, dealing with 22 caliber um, pellet rifles and. 177 caliber we are interested in what the wound channel and all of that stuff looks like because people we do use these to hunt um small game and here's the white zucchini and we see entrance wounds channels and i think that those are the exits out the back and they seem to go straight through and it does look like a little bit of damage on the inside the camera doesn't show it but let's look at this um squash right here um i think that's the entrance and that one is the exit some little damage on the inside look at this um um cucumber uh, i can't tell but look at all that damage on the inside of that if you can see it that pellet went straight through my off is wearing off and this crooked neck squash um i think the entrance or exit on that i can't even tell shot the neck off pretty good i mean these might still be some good, but I don't trust worms and all of that stuff and them pooping. So I'm not going to even try to eat it. Okay, this is interesting. That has to be the entrance, and that is the exit. That's awesome. Come on, deer, so I can shoot you when it's deer season. Okay, that looks like the entrance. That may be the exit. Okay, and that's pretty much the same kind of, you know, that pretty much is the way that it looks on all of these. So, if you were wondering, that is how it looks. This is the um, one tomato that I shot. And if you're wondering, here's the frying pan. You can see it was hitting it really hard. Put oh, I actually had one to pierce through right here. That's awesome, awesome. And that's not a nine millimeter. That's a pellet that pierced through. You can see the back of it. <sighs> Mosquitoes, man, I hate them. Here's the one that it actually pierced through, and these are dents from the other shots all of these dents right here so that's a that beaming rs2 pretty powerful pretty powerful um i have the 22 caliber barrel in there and it's i love it i mean that's my favorite pellet gun you know it's my first not my first one that i bought but the best one i really like it a lot okay lost in outdoors I'm out. That's all the carnage.